Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm right up here up front. There he is. Um, I'm going to talk to the chairman about getting you guys an extra table for next year, too. So you guys look a little uh, crammed together. <laughs> um, I have a couple questions uh, about PICS. We, we were talking about some of the criminal records in the PFAs that are put into that system. Are those sent up to the NIC system at the federal level as well? Yes. Or, the. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. The, uh, there, there is data that's sent from Pennsylvania uh, up to the national system. So all the criminal records that we enter into our database end up at the federal level. I, I mean, I, I don't know how often it's sent up there, but I just want to make sure that all of that, just because I know criminals aren't, you know, they don't always stay within state lines, and just because it's in PICS doesn't mean they might not go to another state and be accepted there. Would I be accurate in that? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Representative. The, the, the records that we can share with NICS, we share. There are some records that they won't accept because we don't have enough identifiers. For instance, if you have a name but no numer numeral identifiers, uh, the federal system will not accept it. So we have databases that uh, we search f using PICS that just hit off of names because we don't have birthdays. Some PFA orders only have a name. They don't have a date of birth. So those can't be, uh, NICS will not accept them. Uh, we search them, but NICS, uh, since they don't accept it because it doesn't have the identifiers, they don't have it available within NICS. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I just wanted to, all I want to do at the end of the day is make sure that what our criminal records are that are going into PICS at the state level are also going at the federal level as well. Okay, uh, and, and my next question, Representative Bobak kind of touched upon this. Um, when the PIC system goes down, I get a text message and an email within like 10 seconds. Um, I have a lot of constituents who like to keep me in the loop on this stuff, and I didn't pay too much attention to it last year, but I, I will tell you to date, just to give you a, an idea here, over the last two weeks, it's been down seven times at least, um, and at least a dozen more times it's been either slow or erratic where they couldn't submit or the system froze. Um, and just to give you a couple more examples on top of that, on February 24th, um, it was down from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock, and then the next day on the 25th, it was down at noon, back at 2.30, and then went offline again randomly throughout the rest of the day. Um, I know it's technology, and I know it can be spotty, right. but it seems like it's increasing more and more. Is there anything that you guys are noticing within the system, or are you guys planning to do any type of changes or updates to the system to make sure it's more reliable and online? Uh, Representative, it's, it's frustrating to us, but what is not clear to the, to the legislature is that PICS, uh, of all the time that PICS goes down, or was down during 2016, only four and a half hours of that total time was attributed to the PICS system itself. If NICS uh, goes down, PICS is down. If the criminal history record database goes down, PICS is down because right. it relies on those databases to do PICS checks. So the majority of those hours, the PICS system is up and running, but because we can't access third-party databases, we're helpless. Well, do you guys have any data on how often the NICS system goes down? Uh, because I'd be interested to know as a comparison just so we could see where the overlap may be and this way, I, I know 1.3% doesn't sound like a, a, a bad benchmark, but to the people who own these, these, these gun dealerships, they get very upset because they have to turn people away, and more times than not, they don't come back, they lose a sale, and a lot of them are worried that they are gonna go out of business because this seems, excuse me, seems to be happening more and more frequently. We can provide that to okay. you. Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.